remember, it is your responsibility to expect this to be a great day. You know, as we roll fully into this season of uh, festivals and Thanksgiving and sharing and caring and loving and eating, <laughs> there's going to be uh, quite a bit of good food being passed around. And um, as some of us will uh, try to at least be aware that we need to have some discipline not to let that waistline get away from us and, uh, and, and make the New Year's start tougher than it needs to be. That reminds me um, of how we were first kind of introduced to the whole concept of nutrition with the food pyramid. And they summed it up into um, uh, something that resonated and, and it made sense and people still say it today that you are what you eat. Well, essentially, you are what you eat, what you consume on a, on a daily basis. You, in essence, kind of become in your body. Well, you know, as we talk about the importance of controlling your thoughts and controlling your thinking, um, there's probably as large or maybe even a larger body of thought that says that our thinking does have an impact on who we become. It is our thinking that generates stress. Stress has a direct impact on our hormones, our body, our, our blood pressure, all these different things physically. Um, our thinking also has a big impact on our level of motivation, our disposition, um, all of these things of which have helped determine how we, our environment perceives us and it interacts with us. So um, as it stands, as it turns out, that it seems our thinking has a, as big of an impact on who we might become as does our eating. So poetically, it turns out that food for thought is that thought is like food. <laughs> Not only do you become what you eat, apparently you become what eats you, what you think about most. Keep that in mind as you think about the things you will think about as we roll into this season of Thanksgiving. Have a great day.